Ray Franz has now left the interrogation of the governing body members and is waiting for their decision. He goes on, that same evening a phone call came to our room from Chairman Schroeder asking me to meet with the body for an evening session of further questioning. My wife had answered the phone for me and I had told her to inform him I was simply too sick to go and that I had said what I had to say. They could make their decision on what they had heard. Later that evening, Lyman Swingle, who lived in rooms two floors above ours, came by to see how I was feeling. I appreciated this and told him what a strain the period of many weeks had been. I started to I stated to him that what concerned me most deeply was not what action the body might decide to take toward me, but that the beautiful truths of God's word had been made to appear ugly. I meant that then and still I meant that then and still feel that the most serious aspect of all that took place was the way an array of organizational teachings were used as a standard against which to evaluate plain statements in the Bible, and that those plain statements, because they did not conform to the organizational pattern of interpretation, were depicted as distorted teachings, giving evidence of apostasy. I had in mind such plain yet beautiful statements of God's word as one is your teacher, whereas all you are brothers. You are not under law, but under undeserved kindness. All who are led by God's spirit, these are God's sons. One body there is, and one spirit, even as you were called to the one hope to which you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all persons, who is over all and through all and in all. For as often as you hear, eat this loaf and drink this cup, you keep proclaiming the death of the Lord until he arrives. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, a man, Christ Jesus. It does not belong to you to get knowledge of the times and seasons which the Father has placed in his own jurisdiction. By contrast, the eight points used by the Chairman's Committee as a sort of confession of faith by which to judge people had not one single point where the Society's teaching involved could be supported by simple, clear-cut statements in Scripture. What plain statement in Scripture could anyone, governing body member or anyone else, point to and say, here the Bible clearly says, and then he goes through the eight points of the sheet that had been used to evaluate the so-called apostates one by one one that god has an organization on earth one of the kind here at issue and uses a governing body to direct it where does the bible make such a statement two that the heavenly hope is not open to anyone and everyone who will be who will embrace it that has been replaced by an earthly hope let me re restate that that the heavenly hope is not open to anyone and everyone who will embrace it that has it that it has been replaced by an earthly hope since 1935 and that Christ's words in connection with the emblematic bread and wine do this in remembrance of me do not apply to all persons putting faith in his ransom sacrifice what scriptures make such statements? Three, that the faithful and discreet slave is a class composed of only certain Christians, that it cannot apply to individuals, and that it operates through a governing body. Again, where does the Bible make such statements? Four, that Christians are separated into two classes with a different relationship to God and Christ on the basis of an earthly or an heavenly destiny. Where is this set? 5. That the 144,000 in Revelation must be taken as a literal number, and that the great crowd does not and cannot refer to persons serving in God's heavenly courts. Where does the Bible say this? 6. That the last days began in 1914, and that the Apostle Peter at Acts 2.17 spoke of the last days as applying from Pentecost on. He did not mean by that, however, the same last days that Paul talks about as two Tim in 2 Timothy 3 verse 1. Where, Ray says. 7. That the calendar year of 1914 was when Christ was first officially enthroned as king, 
toward all the earth and that the calendar date, that calendar date marks the start of his parousia. Where? In scripture. Eight, that when the Bible at Hebrews 11.16 says that men such as Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were reaching out for a better place, that is, one belonging to heaven, this could not possibly mean that they would have heavenly life. Where? In Scripture. Not a single society teaching there dealt with could be supported by any plain direct statement of Scripture. Every single one would require intricate explanations, complex combinations of texts, and in some cases, what amounts to mental gymnastics in an attempt to support them. Yet these were used to judge people's Christianity, set forth as the basis for deciding whether persons who had poured out their lives in service to God were apostates. In the next segment, the governing body reaches a decision.